Hey YouTube. Over the past 20,000 miles, I've been losing brake fluid. Not very much brake fluid, but about, I had to fill it up twice, over 23,000 miles. And I can't find leaks anywhere. So I went online on the F-150 forum and some people suggested that it could be leaking out of the back of the master cylinder into the uh, brake booster, the vacuum booster. So the first thing I did was I pulled this line off and when I pull it off you'll hear vacuum escape because the truck was just running and you'll also hear a gurgling sound. Hear that splash? That is all the brake fluid that's inside the brake booster. There's the uh, my Harbor Freight inspection camera. It was fifty dollars after with the coupon. Uh, there you can see brake fluid on the it's the the brown kind of not quite brown but gear oil colored fluid at the bottom of that spring there. On the, see the white part there? Uh, Alright, there's a pretty good view. I have the camera towards the bottom of the unit there. See, that's actually fluid right there. If I move the truck a little bit, that's fluid. That's fluid splashing up into the camera. See, I have the... I'll show you where I have. I have the camera stuck in the hole where the vacuum tube was. But see, that's... There you can see all the fluid inside the brake booster. Uh, just to get a little close up. Let me show you, this is how I have the camera situated. Jesus, let me try to get a little more light over here. Um, there you can see the brake booster. Sorry about the light, um, and it's just in that. Right in the way. I have the cameras in the brake booster right here. And there's the camera. See, it has a light at the end. Um, so that confirms that there's fluid inside there. Okay, so I've concluded that the back of the master cylinder is leaking. So, oh, another way you can identify it is by looking inside here. It's hard to see here, but you can see it's a little wet there. So, this should be hopefully pretty straightforward. You have the connector for the fluid level. Uh, there's got to be a way to push that in to get it out. Oh, there it is. So I just push down, there's a tab. Just push down on this tab. This was in the bottom. And you have your two two hydraulic lines and a nut on each side. So after those are off, master cylinder should come out. Yeah, I'm using a another Harbor Freight tool, a brake fluid bleeder. It basically hooks up to your air compressor and uh, creates a vacuum in this tube. Okay, just to show you how the evacuator works, I uh, just hook it up to your airline and squeeze the trigger. I'm going to use it to remove the fluid from the master cylinder just so it makes less of a mess when I disconnect these steel lines.
got a decent amount of fluid out. That was pretty uh, mess free. Nice. Okay, I just put the brake fluid evacuator tube into the booster vacuum hole there. So let's see how much fluid comes out of this thing. Quite a bit. And just to let you know, the brake booster had about 28 ounces of brake fluid in it, and the brake master had 20. Just to let you know, I had no idea what the capacity of the master is. Looks like it's about 20. There was a little bit left in the back. Um, there's a baffle inside there. But the uh, that brake uh, booster had almost 28 ounces of brake fluid in it. Uh, that was the two times I refilled it in about 23,000 miles. Uh, just having no idea where the fluid was going, ended up in the booster. Okay, to, remo to remove the hydraulic lines, it's pretty simple. Use a 13 millimeter flare nut wrench or a line wrench. Both are the same size. Put a rag underneath to catch any fluid that leaks out. Maybe a container if you didn't remove the fluid from the cylinder. You'll get some that'll drip out. Then, use a, uh, I believe this is a 13 millimeter socket. This happens to be a wobble extension. These are also available Harbor Freight, a whole set of them on sale for $9. It just, you could use one that goes straight ahead too, but uh, actually, no, it's probably a good idea to just tie these away so you don't get dirt all over these. Let me do that before I remove the cylinder. It'll also get them out of the way. Okay, I just tied these out of the way with a wire tie there. All right. Well, I've had very little fluid come out of the come out of these. I was expecting to have some drip out, but not really much at all came out. Okay, so the two lines are off. The two nuts are off. 
and this comes right out. At the, you could see some fluid there on the snap ring, the bottom of the snap ring, dripping down. That's where it was leaking out into the uh, booster. Okay, my F-150 is a 2004. This looks like it's the original master. Uh, it says 504. And it also says Bosch. I guess they made them for Ford. Uh, it's an SS4622524 and a long number 22507328321. Okay, here's the Replacement, it's a Cardone Select number 13-3084. I got this on Rock Auto. It was $52. The Motorcraft branded one was $120. So this one's less than half, and it had pretty good reviews. Okay, here's the master cylinder. It comes with these two threaded fittings and these tubes. Um, the tubes, I found, tend to fall off. But the idea is you're supposed to put the tubes into the, um, into the reservoir. And then you can put some fluid in there and push the... As long as these tubes are submerged in the fluid... You can push the piston in with a, a dowel or, or a screwdriver, and it'll, it'll cycle all the air out of the cylinder. Uh, this isn't going to work because the tubes are, are too short. They can't make it in and down. So I'm going to uh, use these as plugs, basically. I mean, put my fingers over them. Uh, I'm going to put this in the vise, put some you know, brake fluid in there, like this. And then the idea is, as you push down, push the piston in, fluid will come out. So let the fluid come out into a container, and we'll dispose of it. Put your fingers over it, and then release the piston. So instead of pulling air through, back through these two ports, it'll pull fluid down. So then you push it again in. It'll force the fluid out here, cover them, then release the piston and it'll pull fluid down. And eventually after a few times you'll have no fluid. That's called bench bleeding, um, which I'll do over on the vise. Okay, I have the master cylinder and a vise now. I brought the fluid up to just above the minimum mark. Due to the hose is not reaching, I melted over the ends to make these plugs and just having fluid in there it's basically gravity bleeding so I'm going to use a, a screwdriver this is a large screwdriver number four screwdriver um, let's just show you if I push in but so it doesn't squirt out towards the camera I'm just going to hold my fingers over it Let me hold this over. So I pushed in the piston. Now I'm going to put my fingers over it and retract the piston. See that air here? Air come out. And put my fingers back over it and release. Draws more fluid down.
and retract. So the idea is you want to put your fingers or close the ports before retracting the piston. It's a little bit messy. I'm sure people are going to say there's a much cleaner way of doing it or I'm doing it wrong, but now I've done it. Granted, I don't change, change too many master cylinders. Those tubes were longer, this would be a lot easier. I, sh I, sh I should have looked for some longer tubing. Then you could just cycle the thing until it's with the tube submerged, air will never get in. Alright, there we go. So I've done it a bunch of times. Didn't hear any. I don't see any air coming up through the uh, through the, the reservoir here. And I don't uh, see any more bubbles coming out. So you can just put these plugs in. So I didn't see any more air in the in in the master cylinder. Again, this was kind of messy. It was like fluid was spraying everywhere. There's, with the little tubes, there's a kit too. Um, I didn't think I needed it because other reviews said for the cylinder said it comes with the, the tubes. Um, but it worked. So now the air is re released from the master cylinder. Fluid in. I get this at Walmart. I don't know. It's dot. It's Prestone dot three. They call it synthetic. I don't think it makes a difference. Okay, it's time to put the master cylinder back on. Here it is, off the vise, just bled with the caps in place. By the way, I went in here with the fluid evacuator. I put that little tube down in here just to remove any more fluid. There was very little remaining. So now just slide this into place. Install the two nuts, one on each side. Remove the green plugs. And tighten up these lines. Okay, the master cylinder's back on the brake booster. There's a nut on either side that's tightened down, and the, along with the two lines and the electrical connector. Uh, bleed the brake system, top off the fluid, and that should be it. Oh, also connect the, reconnect your um, vacuum line to the booster. All right, I hope this was a help to anyone uh, who's losing fluid but doesn't know where it's going. It may be going into your booster. <laughs>